right, what's up everyone? We're here on project number 10. It's a perfect setting to welcome people to their home and it's just gonna really project that sound of running water all over. So the main goals are we wanna make sure they can see it from the windows and they can hear it from the windows and then we get that nice, awesome curb appeal and give you a reason to come outside and sit by that sound of running water. The add-ons are we're gonna have superior zones, so we're really excited. I love the way a pond looks, a pondless waterfall looks when we get to use that superior stone. It's a real cool congruent look. We have some cool stuff they brought back from a friend's property out in Montana that we're gonna work into it. And then we have a bubbling rock that we're gonna center uh, center the waterfalls and have them split around a bubbling rock. I'm really pumped, this is gonna look cool. The client gave us the thumbs up to run two projects at once on this. So we got Mark and Justin, they're gonna do some filming with the GoPro and their cell phones tomorrow. And uh, they're gonna prep so that when Wednesday comes, I come here and I do as much as I can of the artistry with the waterfall with Mark and I. And our team's gonna be working on the project that you've already probably been watching project number seven did you watch that one already well if you haven't go back watch that one it's our large deluxe pondless waterfall as well as our spillway bowl combo so go check that one out but for now we're going to show you what our small pondless plus is with added superior stone and a bubbling rock before we've got we're gonna have a blank slate here tomorrow we're gonna get all these plants ripped out take the brick out and we're gonna have a cool right where I got that white paint line down in there that's gonna be our starting point so we've got a lot of stone I've got to select tomorrow morning to make sure we have our build up because we want to make sure we have thin stable rocks and you've seen us use those before but we're gonna really make sure I get a couple of those in here because we need to be able to have height without taking too much space up into this. Then we're gonna make sure that that waterfall is at a cool angle so that you can see it from those windows, but then it has a wide, broad viewing angle. That'll be great. And then we'll still have some good motion to get into that. So it'll be a waterfall, and then we'll see our bubbling rock where we have a little water tail come out on the side of it, and then another waterfall there. It's gonna look awesome. All right, remember everyone, I'm Nick the Pond King, and this is our channel where we're just trying to show you that water features are fun, and it starts right here in Forest Lake, Minnesota. We'll talk soon. Mark just put in the final tamp on our basin reservoir hole. So we want our pump housing to be the lowest point here. So when we drain it out, all the water goes to that lowest point and we can get all that water out come spring. Again, if you're doing your own fall maintenance, you want to make sure you leave the water in your feature in the winter. Do not drain it. So we're just doing a dry run quick, making sure everything fits. Looking good. We like to leave a little uh, extra on all the sides because we're going to be filling with gravel, of course, and the underliner and liner needs a little bit of room too. So we're going to get back to it, put it back, put the basin together, grab some lunch. Our rock delivery will be coming, and Mark and I will have this basin done in no time. All right, we got the reservoir put together, just waiting on our gravel. And we're building our retention wall back here, starting in the corner, using these cut blocks because you can make a smaller rock look even bigger. So we really like it for tight areas too, because they're skinny but heavy. Just plugging away. What up everyone? I am your friendly neighborhood Pond King coming to you live. Well, live for me. I'm coming to you on Thursday night here on project number 10 of 2020. What's really fun is we actually are working on project number seven over in Prescott, Wisconsin at the same time. Uh, we talked to the client and said, hey, we're really trying to get two crews running here. And what we're trying to do is get ourselves in a good spot where I come in and I do the waterfall. And then uh, I leave our guys doing the prep work and some of the stuff that doesn't necessarily need 
my artistic ability as much. Uh, and the guys did awesome. Yesterday, they hopefully they got some content for you with their cell phones. It's a windy day, it's a little chilly out, but you know what, that's not gonna stop us. Maybe it'll fuel us. We got a lot ahead of us to do. Uh, it's only 10 in the morning and we're gonna go until about six. We've got a grill that is smoking some ribs for us right now. Our client is being gracious enough to cook us lunch. How awesome is that? I love my job. I love that we get to do this. So I'm pumped. I got Mark here with me today. You know him as the paint king right there. Hey, it's time to get to work. All right, everyone, we'll talk throughout the day. How was that boulder? Whew. You know, one thing we found is that this excavator can in fact move something a little bit heavier than the MT-85. Um, so we are pushing what our machinery can handle. And that's about a, a 2,000 pound boulder. So um, we used to only feel comfortable with the 1,500 pounders to 1,800 pounders. Now we're starting to get to being able to do a couple of thousand, like a, a one ton boulder in our average build. So I'm, I'm really pumped because that is gonna be our anchor boulder that we build off of. And we're gonna bring water crashing around. It's gonna look awesome because it's gonna go right where my shadow is. And that's gonna just really anchor this whole thing and make it feel like it was always here. That's why we really try and use these big ones when we can, is to really give that illusion that this was supposed to be here. And then people are gonna be in awe of it. They're like, how in the world did they do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Just follow this link on YouTube to Nick the Pot King and find out how. <laughs> All right, update for you. Well, the guys on project number seven kicked butt. They got done by like 345. Justin said, hey, we're done with all the goals for the day. Uh, what are you thinking? And I was like, well, anyone's welcome to come help us here. We're going to push until about 7. And what happened about 45 minutes later, but the old rancher pulled up himself. There he is helping us out. Just putting in the final, final hours here to help us get this in a real good spot. But it's been a beautiful day. We've gotten a lot done. Uh, I'm pumped. Had a beautiful, awesome, delicious lunch. Yeah, it's been a great day. So you've gotten to see Mark and Justin work on this project without me. Um, I was here as much as I could be, but project number 10 is complete and I am really excited to show this to you because it is beautiful. This is our small plus pondless waterfall package with some add-ons. They added a bubbling rock to split the waterfall with and then they decided to upgrade to the blue superior stone and man, I'm glad they did. One other cool thing that they brought some stone home from a, a friend's place in Montana and we were able to get it to work in and make that vein like I was hoping it would look like. And man, this has turned out great. You can hear it in the background. And man, it is awesome. So without further ado, project number 10, 2021 complete. Let's check this out.
sponsored by pond king water gardens living works of art one yard at a time